So my only my only concern with this track is it looks a little raw, so the mid scene, the mid down might be a little sure. iffy. But um, I feel like we all say that. I think. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 like everyone's yeah. like, wait, 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 it's it's raw. Don't worry about the mixing yet. Yeah, yeah maybe, it's on fire though. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe a little too much reverb here and there, but you know, whatever. I'll, I'll fix it. I'm pretty sure we all understand. It's all good. So yeah. it's it was playing. If it so if it's not playing, I just gotta shoot this. Yeah. Is that on? Oh, it's not. up way too loud. Mm -hmm. God, if I had a nickel for every time I said that though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah as like, as long as I show people in this, like, don't worry about like the, everything else, like. Luckily, I, I have very little friends that are into like music, mm -hmm. so it's mostly me. So whenever I show them anything, I do this so awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's nice. And then you don't yeah. like get like. So then I don't get the harsh critique or whatever. Although I need that. Yeah, so it's the it's, feedback. It's the feedback. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes it, and sometimes there's a balance of like you don't know if they they're not trying to hurt your feelings sometimes too. Like yeah, <laughs> like you make trash and then show it to them, they'd be like, oh wow, well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lot of people yeah. that just listen to like the you know the hits and stuff, they don't realize a lot of the beats that make it on there is because they were different. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you made something a little different that they don't consider to be what's what sometimes the sound the is. the different stuff is what stands out. I know. Yeah, that's that's what the artist you know? hears. Yeah, they want something like, that's not. Not the not the norm, not what everybody has. It exactly. Wants to be that stands out a little bit. But everyone's just up with that, you know, basic basic trap kind of stuff. They want like, yeah. You need to experiment a little bit. Okay, but, trap. Uh, all right. Trap. Does your audio out on your laptop work? Just uh, that one. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. Things. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. I just try it directly. I try. I try my hand at like real instrumentation and, and shit, but I don't know if I should unplug. It should be good, it's just USB, so... I like to mix it. I like to mix with real instrumentation oh, like with the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Try like, that. I know a couple of people that don't play bass, and I just want to say, hey, I need this bass line, do this. And then I'll so add some working. stuff to it. So let's, like, we just got to make sure it's coming through both. That sounds fun. I, I think, no. it's just I think my one. favorite thing to do, I would never seriously get uh, into it, try is lo fi Is it in it? I do a lot of lo fi beats, but they're just... Oh, it's in the other one, too. I would never specialize in it. Can you guys... See, that's the one. That's just... I think it's just that one. Yeah, really? Yeah. Here, go down, uh, turn like down, uh, all the way. I just make whatever, and I'm whatever the moment you. is. Whatever is the zoom going today? Do you want a little more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just don't play it. Yeah. 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 It's only been a few times where I said I have to try to make the specific thing. Yeah, but usually sometimes it's really hard to capture it. Somebody up downstairs is saying it's hard to capture it. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Is it in both? Okay, is that both speakers now? You might. It's kind of coming right in the middle. You might have might to so. text. It might be just because I'm way over here. Play it for a sec. I feel like it's in, it's it's in, in the middle. Is that both? I'm glad I left the tapping on for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that way I don't have to like do anything. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, no. it's first time with an actual legit rape, so. Same. Uh, should I leave the volume down okay. like a little bit? <laughs> what? Should, should uh, play the play it down and then turn it up okay. just to whatever level. Is it playing? You can max volume. Get it pretty warm, and pretty hot. Why is it not playing? Oh, my audio. Uh, I switched it, so I have to go in the back end. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. It's good now. <laughs> there we go, I know, I saw it. Pump it up. <laughs> Pump it up. Place, but oh, for real? It, it to me at all. It like, was cool. Out of place. No, that's 
that's where you want it right there for an artist because you give them you give them space to go above it. Yeah, I, I always yeah, I always need space. That right there, that's a solid track. Yeah. All right. Good that's, energy change up. Yeah. Like, but give some breathing room and then that's some. A, that's, a, that's a that's a solid. Yeah, I, I hate it when people always just leave the bass just going the whole track, and I'm like, give the listener a break, give right. the artist a break, you know. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great. You have you have a sense of song structure. Which is yeah. really nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. most yeah. people like when they get into this, they like set like the percussion, melody, and bass, and then they just yeah. like they'll take copy, one out copy, every copy. once in a while and put one back in. Like that <laughs> was good song structure. Yeah, I like this. All right. Um, yeah, if you want to pull up another one, and all right. Then we'll, whoever, um, if somebody's got something ready next, we'll, we'll okay. Got to unsolo some stuff. This is another one. Uh, again, I don't know what the mid scene, but with the last one, I guess I did probably pretty good because I have that. Did you find this loop or did you make it? No, I made it. Oh, the string, like a string, synth string. Yeah, I used a bunch of free synthesizers for VSTs. That's my thing. I'm like, you need serum, right? <laughs> Yeah, if anyone else wants to take a turn, or I guess critique me, so. Uh -huh. what, do use, what do you use for bass? Uh, the bass, so I actually, it, honestly, uh, a lot of it's uh, free sample packs from uh, Cymatics, so yeah. I'll be honest, yeah. that's, that's where I get my 808s. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, yeah. cool stuff. I like that. So, too, right? so is that, but that's like a 808 sample, it's not like a synth 808? No, it's not a synth 808. Gotcha. I have tried to make my own 808s from like the standard, uh, you know, uh, preset like drum, uh -huh. uh, you know, just the long 808 yeah. kick. Yeah. And I've just made it, cut out the thump and just left a. Yeah. Yeah, that that works out, but it's a lot of work. Gotcha. So. <laughs> anyway. How do you mix your kick? If your kick's an 808, because like it sounds pretty so, clean. So. Um. So he said he side chains. Did you yeah, I side that? chain. Oh, so oh, let me pull this up real quick. Two thought yeah. on that side chaining. I mean, I guess it depends what kind of beat you make. I mean, I it's so totally always with the low end. I always no side chain. Yeah. 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 Although I know some people that are super particular about it, and they'll take the sample uh -huh. and they'll cut off the front of it and insert the kit kind of thing. So that way you have the kit. Then, yeah. the, then the bass, yeah, so they kind of faded into yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of different ways. A lot of that, like, at least that's what I've seen, but yeah. I tend to just side chain it because it's easier. Right. It's just, it makes it clean enough, so. Do you side chain just like straight side chain or like so kind of by frequency? Like I always go by, uh, I don't actually mess with the frequencies too much. Um, hold on, let me see. It's not I, like an EQ side chain. I think he said it's a I don't even know if this side one was side chain. Uh, hold up. Is I it? don't. I don't know if this. Okay, never mind. This one was side chain. So um, I always throw it on the 808. Um, what I'll do is I'll take the 808 and I'll side chain it to the kick. In the uh, I use drum kits a lot of times, unless I'm like making you know an electronic track. But mm -hmm. that's because the kick needs to be the kick. Mm -hmm. um, but when I'm making beats, yeah, I'll uh, I'll use the drum kit. I'll make my own custom drum kits kind of thing. Um, and uh, what I'll do is I'll take the kick, put a compressor on it, and then I'll side chain it to the kick. Um, I'm that's that's essentially it. And then I'll mess with the ratio, the attack. I always make sure that I put the uh, release on auto because then it kind of just automatically just releases. Okay. So you mentioned you make your own drum kits. Do you make like full kits or? Or do you like sell or give those out at all, or is um, it just your own collection of sounds? So it's kind of my collection of sounds. A lot of them, like when I first kind of this at the beginning of this year, I was on a cymatic craze. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I kind of moved away from that a little mm -hmm. bit. So now I'm looking for either like a lot of them are drum kits I did offline, but then you know I'll mix and match sounds, layer, right. you know, kind of right. distort them into my yeah, own sure. little yeah. Kind of adjust them. Yeah, yeah adjust and them. I have made my own drum sounds with uh, some plugins that I have. Uh, let's see. Oh. They have this one called Audio Spill, uh, Audio by Audio Spillage called Mini Spillage. It's I haven't used it a whole lot, but 
it, it's pretty rough. A lot of it sounds on there, so you have to eat you the crap out of them. Cause it's a free, it's a free plug yeah. So, but I like to do that. And I also like to use stock, stock samples too. Okay. So. But none of it's none of it's completely from scratch. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But yeah, Flume. Uh, man, he's going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big influence of mine. I listened to his stuff, and I just don't know what he did. Didn't I'm you? like, what what is going on? <laughs> yeah, no, it's like he's doing one thing one moment, the next moment he's just completely different. So, but yeah, I like to fuse a lot of electronic kind of influence into my stuff. The mm -hmm. stuff that I showed earlier was basically. What I'm trying to do, you know, get a, get a little bit more, uh, I don't know. I was listening to some more more trap at that point, mm -hmm. but um, I still I still really infuse like trap and like electronic kind of stuff together. But if I can get this phone case off. Uh -huh. Oh, your sneakers are cutting you up before now. Thanks for that. Oh, man. <laughs> so here's the thing, I was afraid to think, but like, I looked at it, they're for my whole life. They're real. I got my Ross at 50 bucks. Bro. I got no. I want to get my stuff like Those are nice. Chris yeah, ain't even no, here for the music. He's yeah. here to look at your cakes. <laughs> 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 I like those yeah. are clean. I spent like an hour like this can't be real. <laughs> I was like on the internet Googling just in on all the junk. Stitching. Yeah. It's like no, Mike's yeah, going to come that's back. Crazy. Yeah, I know. 50 bucks at Ross. So. Those go crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I just happened to be here this weekend. Perfect. When did you get those? Uh, like, like four or five days, probably four or five days. Yeah. three days ago. Or no, it might have been last night. Like, some sometime in that time frame, but <laughs> pretty recently though. Okay. And one thing I'm not doing is marketing. I really need to work on that. I just, I'm, I'm not a huge social media person. I, I need to though. I think we'll talk about it a little bit. Yeah. All right. So you need to go watch the tra Travis uh, Travis Clear video on a Kato right now because he said if you're not on social media, you're not marketing. You're wasting your time. Yeah, and I'm well aware of it. So <laughs> I'm just telling you, you're wasting your time. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, this this because a lot of songs, songs don't get played or anything because they look at you think it's all about you know are you good and that no because they ask you what are your numbers. Yeah, they want to know you got a social media following. That stuff is a lot more prevalent these days than a lot of people realize. Yeah, because you can that's have right. a good song that's it's a hit record, you know. But you're like, do you have a social media account? No, I don't like social media. They're yeah. like, oh, thanks for the record. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's serious. They're that's the way people are these days, and it's just like crazy. Now yeah. you you being in the the game a little longer, so like, was it was it kind of like a like surprise that it kind of switched, or was it pretty gradual, or I just. Like what kind of switch you're talking about? Like to social media, kind of going from like relying on record labels okay, to social I, I, media. Until like probably five, a little over five years ago, five, six years ago, I hated social media. But then it just... <laughs> they got you. Yeah. <laughs> no, because my wife at the time, my my ex-wife, she, she had started an account so she could tag me. Then it was like, hey, all these people are requesting, do you know these people? Like, man, that's my family. It's people I grew up with. Let me take that account. Yeah. <laughs> and then it went from from there. Now I got, like, two pages, my Instagram pages, my website. I'm like, then, then it just... <laughs> yeah. Now I'm, like, everywhere. And I got business cards that I hand out that have, like, social media texts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's dope. Nice. That's cool. All right. That's cool. All right. But yeah, I got tired of writing down my stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just went to Vista Print, man, and ordered a box. And now it has everything on there. It's like, here you go. That's cool. Okay, so uh, trying to pick and choose. I don't know which one. I'll just play this one, the my most recent. So yeah, I just heard something. Yeah. Oh, that I did for a client and then I'm gonna play your finished song because I'm in the middle of finishing that album. 
So you nice. want boom bath kind of stuff? I do a little bit of everything. Okay. This cool. one is kind of, this one is made for a friend of mine who just, he just got off tour with Mayday. Oh, nice. And he's oh, been going, you know, flying here, there. So he wanted something to, you know, talk about, you know, leaving his family, going on tour. So you try to make the right beat. You try to put, you know, yeah. sound effects, ambiance to make it. Yeah. Just get, to make it so you could close your eyes and listen to it and you can imagine it. Yeah. Because I, like, I understand, you know, I appreciate the thing you're talking about, but if you ask me a lot of technical questions, I probably can't tell you shit. <laughs> Because I make beats on feel, yeah, emotion, on you can tell if I'm having a good day, if I'm having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah. It, you yeah, know, I feel, I feel like I just, you know, or if somebody wants something specific, then I just, you know, I'll take my time, I'll find it, and we'll go for it. So do you know going into a beat uh, what you want it to be a little bit? Not, not, not all the time. Yeah. Not unless it's a specific request. Okay. Otherwise than that, I'll just look for something, I'll find something, and just... Just go for it. Gotcha. So you do custom beats too? Like, oh yeah. Like the, oh. Yeah, so like I said, my friend just got off tour, so this one is called Baggage Claim. Let me make sure it's not gonna be too loud of her. sounds on YouTube, airport sounds, one. to find the exact one I want, then I kind of cut it a little bit. Okay, nice. And just to, then I gave it just a little reverb so it sounds like it's echoing in the yeah, terminal. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Because I wanted to feel like I was actually in the terminal. Because he's like, man, I've been on, I just got a tour of May Day, I've been on these flights, I need something. I'm like, all right, let me get this one. Let me get this for you. I'm oh, going to do one, just one complete song that I just finished, just uh, because it's, it's my... This is another one that's mixed between regular instrumentation, bass line and all that stuff, and then, but it's just one of my favorite new songs I just finished. Tell them real from the fake Everybody claim that they real when they ain't But everybody thinking that they can when they can't But everybody Did you produce that instrumental too? That's you? That's clean That's, yeah That's from the album It'll be out on the 17th It'll be on a couple days Damn Like I forgot what? As I said I had to go It was on my phone because I was trying to beat a snowstorm I forgot all my stuff That's crazy Oh yeah, I didn't bring my laptop either <laughs> yeah, I was gonna play the other one, but it's not mixed. I just finished one for Mozzie. So. Oh, nice. Good All right, so this is gonna be totally different from what you guys heard before, cause I'm kind of, you know, I'm looking for that that big placement. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Kali? I hear Kali down here. I hear Summer Walker, maybe. Yeah. I hear Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really jump. I like the pos- like the positivity of it. Like I, yeah. I just felt like smiling with it. Yep. <laughs> you know? yep. I have I so many. It's like, can you pick something? I'm like, no, because you can go to my website. There's like. <laughs> 90, 100 there. I got like five hours of work. How do you choose? Like slow that down too and make it yeah. nasty. <laughs> well, I, have, I have some stuff like that too. I have like, I try to do everything. Yeah. Like, give people like choices. I can sit here and like fill up the rest of your time and you be like, uh, got another one? <laughs> got another one? So, for those that don't know me, I go by the name of Rockin' Weather from Kimberly, Idaho. So, nice to meet everybody who I didn't get to introduce myself to. Uh, last, last time I showed some beats off, I still don't know what I want to drop, whether it be like an album or something, but I have a project in the works. So last time I mentioned that I wasn't prepared to rap, and so today I got like, I just, and this shit maybe took like two hours. Like it it's really has no work to it, really. I just threw it together, so. I wanted to show you guys, like, you know, how I rap. I'm not there, I'm not there. Okay, so hold up. Is that on? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that can. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. She's just tagging oh, you. Oh, tagging you. <laughs> uh, it's ADHD. Oh, okay. Yeah, not, not mine, not my personal. <laughs> Let me know if it's not working, you might have to like, troubleshoot something. Okay. okay. So, let me just throw this out there. Everything on this song is more like comedy, so like, laugh at the shit, you know what I mean? Like, I just I laugh at the cool. shit, dude. I think it's funny, so I just, like I said, I put it together super quick for you guys to just check it. And just, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Sometimes I feel okay, other words it ain't the same But I'm on my journey to the end and my gurney has to wait Not to mention why your jersey isn't worthy, I'll be living in the largest state Yeah, I mean with them larger gates Rockerilla, bitch, that's my name Hold up, wait a minute, let me get it, I'ma win it Rockerilla, rockin', I'm a motherfucking villain Y'all can only see what I've been sickin' for a minute Even sleepin' on a little bit, but I ain't really chippin' been Kickin' up beats and the motherfucker kickin' that rap like rap like that So I'm livin' no rap twice, rap twice, anybody like Nice. So you made the beat too? No, that's the Tech Nine beat. Get that's that. oh, okay. Get I was like, out of here by Tech Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the Damn. Damn, you made gotcha. me run out of breath, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was like, any minute, any minute now. <laughs> that's dude, that, that like crazy. sounds like shitty to me. Like I didn't really do no work to it, you know. So. But yeah. like the, fl- it's still clean. Like especially for no like effects or anything. Like. But if it's clean, you can understand every word. Yes. Yeah. The flow, really? yeah. the flow. Yeah. Believe me, I heard a yeah. hell of a lot worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're okay. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, no, I mean, they, there's some people that try to do it like that. That you can't understand everything that they're saying. Yeah. But I could, I could hear what you were yeah. saying. Clarity the, poten- the potential is definitely there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you start, if you're starting there, just, just go up. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. Yeah, on like it's on, and you're not like fumbling either. Like everything was clean. Yeah, you, you weren't fum- yeah, exactly. Was, you're not fumbling anything. You could, you could, you were enunciating. I mean, you you, li- you listen to people like like Logic and all that. I mean, is if you can understand what they're saying and go, okay, cool. But I've heard people do that. That you're like, you're just putting filler words that aren't making no damn sense. Mm-hmm. And but you're. That was that was good. Thank you so much. Did you guys catch the Prozac this? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 There's a little story behind that, but uh, I'll just say it real quick. I opened up for him for my first show, and so one time he he was parked in a van talking to the promoter, and I see my family in the distance a little bit, so I had to walk past him, you know. And so I was like, man, I'm gonna go say what's up to him. This is my chance. And so I walk over. I'm like walking right past him, and I said, what's up? And he gave me like the dirtiest look, like. <laughs> like really, so I stayed for everybody's sh- like set exceptions that night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know. Cool. Thank 
cool. Thanks, if I can man. give you some advice from shows and open them for people, get used to it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's not your fault, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I opened, the road, bro. On my, on my first show, I opened up for Cryptic Wisdom, <laughs> mm-hmm. and he straight superstar me. Like I walked up mm-hmm. and I was like, "Hey, man! Like I've been a big fan forever, and like you know, I'm, I'm glad you gave me this opportunity." And he was just like, "Cool." And he walked away. I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, okay." <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, you get some that are really cool, and some that they could care less. Yeah. I mean, it's just. You just gotta take the good with the bad. I'm just glad I'm not the only one, though. So I was like, cool. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) You still get that on your resume, you know, regardless of if you guys got to talk or not. But, Mm. bro, I get it. Like, those guys are on the road and they're like, I don't know you. It's not really our fault, you know? It's kind of hard, though, because if I was, like, in his shoes, I would be saying what's up to everybody. Like, then do do that. Do that when you get in his shoes. That's all we can do, bro. I try to say what's up to everybody. Like, I'm just a dude, you know what I mean? Because I've been stiff, like, Nelly, when we did Nelly at the Revolution, his security kicked everyone out. And I remember really? being mad. And then two days later, I was like, yeah, I get it. He doesn't know any of us. Like, and yeah, and keep in mind the guy who's like wants to be where you're at right now, in like a year or two or whatever. And like, cause that's kind of the same role, right? It's not just your peers, but the people who are looking up to you. I think who are looking for that. They're saying, oh wow, what you're doing is awesome. And if you can show that love, the love that you didn't get or whatever. Yeah. I think is impactful for someone aspiring to be where you're at. Right. Cause believe me, if you notice that somebody acts like that, other people are gonna notice too. Totally. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it. A lot of artists just oh, they act like that, and they don't realize that we're not stupid. We pay attention. Yeah. Yeah, really. Okay, so get it? Cause there's been a lot of artists, and okay, cause I'm a lot older than a lot of people here, uh, that I've seen, and I've been like, yeah, you're cool. Then I met them, and I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they used to think, you, yeah, your music is, you know, there's a lot of people that their music might be good, but them as a person, <laughs> no, nah, and it's the truth. And you never know, maybe they got a bad day or something, you know? Totally, you know, totally. You know, totally. So, you know, things happen like that, too. Yeah. You don't know what's happening, you don't know if the promoter paid them right, you don't know if they're right. Them right. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, you're yep. stepping into their world at yeah. that point. You have yeah. no clue. Yeah. Yep. You know, shit, shit could be going on at home, they're missing... Oh, I mean, a number of things. Uh, could only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is something I made like a few weeks ago or like last month. I haven't really like worked on a lot of new stuff. I've just been like studying a lot of like older music, I guess. So here's something. Okay. It's going through my phone now. <laughs> you might have to do the case. I don't know. Or take the case off and yeah, you have yeah, to take your case off. This is a hard case. I thought last time I had my case on, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Might be a different cable that's more sensitive or something. Yeah, when I have a... It's hard to plug it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. like the structuring too like it really built and like there was kind of a storyline i think just with oh, how like things came in and out with the intro or just like the bridge part uh all of it i felt like from the intro for like a while it was like building to something and then like you kind of kept changing it up after that but i really liked that it was like a kind of an extended build out i was really it didn't cool. just stand still yeah yeah I yeah. try. I try to like change every four bars. Yeah. I guess, and take something out. Some old song. Uh, this is another one. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this one's kind of like. But I love Sharon. This one's kind of fun to make because it was it was a lot different than from. Had a lot this was kind of like stepping out my comfort zone for this one. Mm-hmm. This one for the bass, I wish I could change. It really bothered me when I was <laughs> the full thing. But I don't. I don't really go back to fix things. My beats. I just. I just like just leave it. But,
but really different. But I could hear one certain artist on that. I was looking it up. Anderson Pack. I don't know if you know that. I love Anderson Pack. <laughs> but like that's some like like it's almost like outer spacey. But I mean, it was like a dope outer spacey. It wasn't like try too hard. That was really good. Thank you. I like that. You listen to the like count. Who? <laughs> the count? Yeah, have you ever heard of the count on Maxwell? But not like Maxwell, like Rudy and Oh, you're fine. I'm Maxwell. Oh, Maxwell, the R&B singer? Nah. Oh, okay. No, not Rudy. No, no, no. You should be a dude called the count. You would like, I really feel like really gravitate towards his stuff. Like, that beat sounds a lot like what he tries to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep it going. I brought a couple too. Awesome. Do you want to be ready to go next? Yeah. I got one more I want to try. I forgot I had. Yeah, it was different than the other ones that I wanted to show if I could do okay. something different. I realized the other two I played are just the same. I'm like, I want to show something different. <laughs> same. Oh, no. I forgot to send you those stamps. Oh, yeah, good. Hey, get to it when you get to it, man. I honestly. I, I, don't I know just remembered that. Damn. I've um, just been so busy. I understand that. It's all good. Uh, so, the first thing I'm playing, um, if anybody follows me, I, you know I've been spamming a little bit like this Valid Point album, I don't know if anyone's seen that. Okay. Just came out and, <coughs> and I had a couple tracks on it and so I wanted to play one of the tracks on there because I'm super excited about this artist. Play and some uh, yeah, this will be kind of an introduction yeah, to my yeah. sound, I'll just play it. And that's mostly thanks to this guy. And but that beat too. I mean, give yourself you. some credit. Yeah. It was great. Yes, thanks. <laughs> thanks for stopping in. Yeah, that was a cool that beat. Was I like great. the balance. That beat is was, clean. I like how you did the 808. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've been on the short tail 808 kick for a minute. Oh, I'm like riding <laughs> the like internet I, YouTube get into sad it. boy just, thing a little bit. So. I like him gliding Bro, so that. <laughs> I keep oh, going. Yeah. Like, Glide's where I think. All right, All right, Pete Juice World. Definitely. Appreciate that. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. real quick, I was kind of curious though, how many of you guys use like sample melody kits or loop kits or sample melody stuff at all in your views? Yeah, all the time. All the time? All the time? I can yeah, but I also like to use, uh, I, I got it off the splice, uh, uh -huh. Regrouver. Regrouver. Okay, Regrouver takes yeah. loops and breaks Sense. them down to their individual pieces. The you can pull what you want. Mm. Mm. Is that like Slice X? Yeah, Slice yeah. 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 Okay. Well, no, I mean, let's say there's like four instruments within that loop, it oh. breaks it down to each individual. Oh, so you're getting the split track of the yeah. instrumental. Wow. It's like similar to stem. Wait, so and then you, a sample? Or like from a regular sample, is that what you do? Like split it's, it? Yeah, it's called Regrouver. Uh, it's a uh, thing I got off of Splice. Interesting. Regrouver. That's cool. And you can take a loop, put it in there. It'll give you, basically it, it processes the loop and then it tracks it out for you. Oh. That's crazy. That's cool. You can then That's take really pieces out that you want, and then you can reformat it how you want. So you can get, oh, I wow. like this, but then I want it to sound like this. Chop, or boom, and then it, then it spits out a whole new loop for you. So many can you yeah, yeah, for can real. Can you cut vocals <laughs> out of a thing? Yes. That's, Wait, cool. you can do That's what I'm going to use. You can do everything. <laughs> okay. so to buy it straight out, you can rent it, or you can buy it straight out for 700 And I was like, Oof. I'm like, here, you know what? That's like an overtime day for me at my job, so here, 700 <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that sounds crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, I, my other follow-up question was, has anyone, like, paid for a melody pack before? I, I yeah. paid for I've never used yeah. Yeah. Only when they're on sale. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't mess with them otherwise. Have you bought one before, though, on sale? Can you remember a time that you did? I think I did, yeah. I'm just curious. This is, like, my little market research moment, so. Because I'm kind of turning mostly, into a melody guy a little bit. Not really bit, melodies. Like. It's more the 808s, no, it because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I downloaded it. I mean, yeah. it is the end, but I will. <laughs> good. I promise, I will. Is your pack out? Uh, I just saw I have a pack on my website, yeah. If you want to get it, I'll send you just a code to get it. Uh, I need to do that. Um, <laughs> it, so, yeah. For anyone who's downloaded it, hasn't tried it, or is curious, 
the idea is there's folders in it, and each of the folders you can stack all the sounds. So it's kind of like regroup, but I have them split out automatically. So you can throw them in there and decide which ones you like or don't like, and that's kind of the idea. So real quick, I'll just play another thing that I was working on last week that I really like. <laughs> I could hear yeah. like a, like his recent album. Mm -hmm. I could hear him on that. That's yeah. yeah that's, a lot of the I do get like a lot of inspiration from a lot of newer artists like that and mm -hmm. Trippy and Juice and so. Yeah. Hi guys. Is that a purse I'm or a satchel? Huh? Is that a purse or? A it's satchel? a purse, dude. I'm call it like it is. <laughs> call it space, <laughs> space. It's a fucking purse. It's a man bag, dude. It's got I got everything in here though. These things save your life. Um, I haven't met most of you because I've only come to one of these. So I'm Cam. I go by Cam Stone. It's my real name too. And uh, I'm from Portland, but I live here now. And I've been doing music for like three years. And, sorry, I had it. So I think of myself first and foremost as like a singer-songwriter, because I was playing guitar and writing songs way before I knew how to make a beat. And then I went to school for audio engineering and learned how to make beats. And then I rapped for a good two or three years, and now I'm trying to like sing more than I rap. So I'm going to show you guys a couple songs that are like the new direction I'm going. None of these are like mixed or mastered. These are literally just exported out of my computer so I could show you them. But the big thing that I'm working on is my vocal processing because I record at home and my songwriting and my lyrics. So you've heard this, you've heard this. I'm going to show them the one that I showed you guys at the coffee shop. Um, I am more influenced by like rock from being a kid and punk and stuff like that than I rap I got into in a college really. So I'm trying to kind of bring some of that rock kind of aggressiveness back into my rap and trying to add more melody than just bars. Um, so this one's called Maniac and M comes after. There we It says it's playing. I was going through. Oh, you want it. Oh, do I have the wrong chord? Same bamboozled. <laughs> Hoodwinked. So I'm putting this one out in January, and then I'll show you guys another one I'm putting out in January. They're really short. I, I make two minute songs. Uh, man, that's so <laughs> punk. Right yeah. He can only play one. I'm taking one of his. And you're about to play an extra. If, if he'll, uh, come if on, he'll, give me some. Uh, yeah. I'll you're, be quick. I'll be fine. quick. Okay, you want to hear another more punk, rocky one, or like a softer one? Let's do a softer well, one. That's, oh, you man, all set it with your one. eyes. <laughs> Read eyes. Um, this one's coming out probably. Those gross colored glasses you got on, eh? Dude, it's, it's, it makes life <laughs> it makes life just a little trippier, you know? <laughs> Everything's 3D. Whatever works for you. Everything's 3D. <laughs> Rose-colored right. glasses. Um, it's in the eye of the beholder there. You know, this one's probably it. coming out in January also. Um, I'm changing the second verse. That's all I'll say about it. But We ain't going to know no mistakes if you say something. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know why I even yeah. said it. With feel little mistakes. I feel bad now. All these are playing off of uh, iCloud. <laughs> and like this building's made of like concrete, so it's taking a sec. I kinda hate it. I'm smoking cigarettes, don't think I pay my debt. 
Lady, I just don't give a fuck. I got no one to impress. I'm high on THC. So stay away from me. Lady, I just don't give a fuck. I got no one to please. I'm smoking cigarettes. Don't think I pay my debt. Lady, I just don't give a fuck. I like hooks. These are like these are like radio ready. Yeah, yeah. thanks, brother. Yeah, yeah this these are like good. radio. I mean, your writing on point. Thanks, man. Because you want something that's gonna get somebody's attention, mm -hmm. and yet your structure, the way you write it, even on the first one, that's radio ready. Yeah, because exactly. somebody's gonna remember that because you say things a certain amount of times. Right. That you're gonna, you know, that song that said. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You, yeah. You're gonna remember I'm, that. I'm gonna be able to sing this in my head yeah. two hours That's from now. Yeah. 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 yeah, I already got. I, I'm like, I'm like, man, where can I buy it now? <laughs> <laughs> January, January, I got you. Okay, this is the last one. This one's way more experimental. Yeah. I really, you know, I really did listen to Juice World like no, not just before he died, and I thought it was really cool right. that more emo punk stuff was kind of making its way because that why I grew up on dudes yeah. like Blink 182 and stuff. So uh, I thought it was cool that, that like to, you know. punk and emo is kind of coming into rap, I and so I wanted to kind of put that in this song and try to sing with a little bit higher pitch. Again, this one's got like three hooks in it, so that's just how I do. This one's missing a verse because I'm trying to get a feature on it, um, but this is the last one I'll play. Yeah, all my songs I do like hook, verse, hook, breakdown, hook, and they're always like two and a half minutes. They're like. It's like freaking cookie, but you remember right? when you hear a repetitive mm -hmm. like that, that's something you remember you're like you're singing it right like yeah. that last one you just played man it's in my head already oh yeah those are the easiest i wrote that on a piano where i actually like went like dun 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 and i was like oh there yeah, it is like sometimes that's you know the best way and if this one doesn't load i mean i'll just leave you know did you play all those guitars like the guitar yeah on the cigarettes one i play guitar on the first one that's actually a midi keyboard oh, yeah. but I put an amp filter on it like I kind of showed you guys all right this one might not load so I'm just gonna call it good unless it plays in the next two seconds the last one reminded me a lot of a uh, Santana song it's, I love it, Santana it's, uh, I don't remember it's a really popular song I don't remember it was but I only have an acoustic guitar so even when I make the electric guitar sound effects it's me playing acoustic guitar really? running it through an amp filter interesting <laughs> okay thank you, thank you guys all right, so uh, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of influenced by you guys know Smino. Any of you guys? Smino. Yeah. Smino. Oh, you heard that song Spit Shine? Uh, oh, I think I, yeah, I think I yeah. I like anyway. that whole album. The uh, but whatever it's called. So basically, this song's called The Jungle, and my friend came to me with this like loop that he made at his house on FL with uh, just like a bunch of like animal sounds kind of, and then I don't know, I just like really freaked it, I guess. But yeah, this is not really. I just took a trip sound. through the jungle and like the animals are playing <laughs> instruments and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. do you uh, post these on like streaming platforms? This? I don't got nothing out really. I'm just kind of working on just getting really good at my craft first. I just want to make like a bunch of beats and get really good mm -hmm. at like actually getting good at, super, uh, at, at instruments first so that I'm able to kind of be like able to play everything myself. Well, I mean. let me say you are really good because that was something I would like listen to on repeat if I'm just like trying to get stuff done or yeah. like at work or doing homework or something. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, that, that's bro. really good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Yeah, I'll come nice. next time with some more I like stuff. The bounce of it. All right, so I'm Derek. For everyone I don't, I haven't met yet. <laughs> um, this is my first time here, so. Um, oh, but I just you. made this track uh -huh. yeah. uh, a couple of days ago, or well, I think it was the last week sometime. So just to point out, since you said that, this is like 
five people's first time here. Oh, sweet. and we've only so, done three of these, so <laughs> cool. It's cool. I'm glad that everybody made it. No, out. I'm always it's three. Off. It's my first this time is the third, well. like the third meetup we've done. That was fourth. Is it the fourth? No, third. I think. Oh, okay, not including third. Class I think you had coffee. Coffee. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're good. Uh, it might be a little loud. I don't, I don't know. I don't okay. know the levels of the speakers, but. I've been weighing in these conversations Gratitude to keep me going cause I feel amazing Keep the bad thoughts up on my head Yeah, that's energy wasted Depression ain't a thing as long as you don't embrace it I got many things that I've been chasing in Things that I've been dealing with Demons that I'm facing in Demons that I'm chilling with Don't hear what they're saying I just know that I'm the realest kid yeah. Just know that I'm the realest Think about this organic Living by the candy And yeah, she said that I'm a moon In rotation like a planet vibe Checking where I live Great. I brought him, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> when and where can I get that? Uh, it's Please. actually out. I like it's on Spotify and Perfect. and everything. Uh, it, Orion Smith is my stage name. Um, but it used to be like it used to be DZE, and I had a whole so that bad thoughts reference. Um, you know about keeping bad thoughts about my head. I actually dropped an album called Bad Thoughts, and it was absolute trash, and I hated it. So. I'm kind of as this new name. Uh, I, I was that last name for like years, and then so this new name, I dropped this, and it was like, kind of like a refresher for me. I so, spell it. Uh, o R Y A. So that one you just played is under your new name. Totally yeah. Name. Okay. Yeah. Um. So hmm. like oh, influence yeah. wise for me, I've been really. I, I know probably every. I, well, I don't. I don't know. Um. Uh. Jack Harlow. I don't know mm -hmm. if everyone knows who yeah, that yeah. is, but. Jack Harlow is like a big influence for me because like I just vibe wise I haven't what heard the song. What's the name of that song? Uh, it, it's called Organic. Do you like but Travis Thompson? I haven't heard that yet. Oh dude, you would like Travis Thompson. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, um, yeah, you would. I get some Travis Thompson. <laughs> that's that's my yeah, there Seattle. you go. And for you, that's yours too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you was kind of like a more test. Uh, test song. It's it doesn't matter. I just went to my Apple Music. I didn't download <laughs> that song. Yeah, dude, that was oh, yeah. legit. That I'm was like, legit. since you said that, I'm like, oh, that means it's on my Apple Music. Man. Let and me then I, I brought this one. I mean, it's really short, and I'm not like, it's not even close to done yet. I, it was a little more realism instrumentation type stuff that I kind of wanted to showcase to see how that's, that's going fine. here. Mm -hmm. but, oh, really? So <laughs> it's actually got like a whole intro into it and everything. Um, and then I do have a beats page. Uh, I upload, well, I, I have a beats like channel on YouTube. Um, I'll play you just like a quarter of one here. Pull up. So the only the only thing the metal the melody part was the only sample that mm -hmm. I used, and that's actually like I I am I'm not super heavy into samples yet. Actually, Chris is the one that's been kind of like directing me towards that. Um, so that was like the first sample I've ever really kind of used in a song. How did you guys connect? Um, a friend. Yeah, a, a uh, friend connected us, and then we just started working together. So we hack we have like part of a song. Song. Yeah, he's gonna kind of be more like my producer ergo now as my as an artist because like I find it a little easier when you're an artist having your own producer instead of trying to do both because yeah. you can't depict on how much time to put towards each one and when you do and you're in the studio you're writing you're like oh man I should change that so you're constantly in and out you yeah. know so yeah. but yeah so that's that's my shit. <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs>